Another cool feature that Block supports are carousels. Carousels let you cycle through elements like pictures, text, etc. What we have here in the SenseBuzz dashboard are two carousels for comparing different headphones. These are two separate widgets with a Blocks banner widget on the top for adding context. To see how this was implemented, let's open the editor. The first thing to note is the value of Show Carousel, which is a Boolean. This is set to true, meaning if we have multiple items, instead of listing them in the stack, we want to list them horizontally and then present some arrows for navigating through the list. Now let's drop down to the body. We see we have a column set that includes two columns. The column on the left contains an image, and the column on the right details about our headphones. Starting with the column on the left, we see an image that is dynamic, related to image, on the panel on the left. This means that as we rotate through the carousel, the image will change to the next value. In our second column, we have a stack of text blocks, each display a value tied to the dimensions in our panel. So we see panel name, panel type, and panel spec 1, etc. As I cycle through my carousel, these will be updated to the next value. Carousels are useful for cycling through sets of data, and with SciSense, you can incorporate dynamic carousels into your interactive dashboards.